All right, what is going on today, guys? All right, what's going on today, guys? I'm here at a real estate listing right now, a really awesome house over in Anchorage. Um, I'm gonna be shooting photo and video today for one of my real estate clients. And today I wanted to talk just a little bit about how you can get your video production business or photography business started pretty quickly by starting with video, uh, by starting in the real estate industry. But let's get into it. Reason number one is demand. So real estate agents are realizing more and more um, that the younger generations or even the older generations as well are liking um, video content more than just photos. So having a video for their listing is gonna give them a competitive advantage over other real estate agents that aren't gonna invest in a quality video. Um, so there's just a lot of demand out there. There's a lot of agents, there's a lot of houses being sold and a lot of videos that need to be made to market those houses. So get out there and start getting some of those listings in. So the next point is really that real estate videos aren't too hard to do. Once you get used to the process, you kind of, you you kind of, once you get some practice in and get used to the process and how to make sure off the property in its best light, uh, it's not too hard to come in and make, take good photos and videos of a property. Especially compared to a lot of shoots with actors in different locations and really tight packed in schedules to, to where today I'm in here, have as much time as I need. I'm here by myself, the listing agent. Sometimes they come, just open up the property for me, then they'll take off and just let me do my thing. So they try to have a good time, be relaxed and do my thing and deliver a good product to them. So I really like how relaxed it is and I like how easy it is once you get used to the process. So it definitely takes some time and experience getting up to that level. But once you're good at it and good at what you do, it's really easy to come in and do it. Just completed all the photos for the property, came out really nice. Now we're gonna switch over to video mode, throw the camera on the gimbal and then get started in there. So I figured it'd be a good time to talk about the gear. The gear you needed to get started in real estate video and photo. At the foundational level, you need a camera with the wide angle lens, you'll need some kind of stabilizer, and then you'll need a tripod. And basically from there, you can get started. As you progress, you can start getting more and more gear. That's basically how I started out. All right guys, so this is the fifth and probably most important point, at least for me, um, but it's the option for reoccurring monthly revenue. But so once you start getting good at making real estate videos, new and photos, agents will keep coming back to you. They like to build trust with one person and be able to call one person to come and do all their listings. So if you can get good at taking photos and videos of real estate, if you're good, if you're professional, if you're on time, if you deliver every time and not have to be someone they worry about or causes stress in their day-to-day -day lives, they're gonna keep working with you. And so this means you're gonna have a source of reoccurring revenue. So every time they get a new listing, they're gonna call you up and say, hey, I got a listing. I need you over here to do this booking. When are you available? So the clients I work with now, I actually ended up signing the biggest contract um, that I've ever signed. Um, with them over the next six months. So basically over the next six months, I'll take care of all their listing, photo and video, plus create video marketing content for them to help starting building their, to help start build their brand um, and also further market their real estate team. So I'm really pumped to see what we can do with them and help them grow their business. But at the same time, uh, getting into real estate photo and video allowed me this opportunity to pitch them a big contract like that and to prove myself as the number one choice uh, to come and take care of all their photo and video needs for all of their listings. Looking for gigs and constantly have to feel pressure to go out and close new gigs as a creative can be pretty rough. So if you look for reoccurring staples of income where you know you're gonna get paid this amount per month or something like that and can uh, form these contracts of video packages like I've done and then break those into monthly payments, it could help provide you some reliability and reoccurring income in your bit. It can help provide reoccurring income in your business which helps, which helps give you peace of mind knowing that next month you're gonna make this amount of money and that's just for one client. So it's not including if you go and sign another client or if you go and sign a big deal. So that's where what well, gives me pretty pumped up. I'm pretty excited about the contract I've signed with them. Not only am I gonna to have to be able to test out my video marketing abilities, but I'm, I'm also gonna be able to come in here and do things like this and be able to enjoy it as well. 
Alright guys, that is officially a wrap for me here today at this property. Shoot went awesome, super good, everything went fluid, no problems. Beautiful home, as you guys have seen. About two hours total, I guess that's an additional step. Uh, only took me about two hours and 15 minutes to shoot that house. And I charge my clients anywhere, it kind of depends on the size of the house and uh, how it's set up with the contract and number of videos, but it comes out to around $500 per listing. Breaks down to about two hours to film it. Uh, I pay a guy 40 hours to edit the photos, and then I edit the video, which takes around three hours. So about five, six hours total investment time into filming uh, each property, which breaks down to around uh, 75 to $100 an hour, which is really awesome to me, very good money, and I'm very blessed for the opportunity to be able to work with clients I do. I like this video, hopefully it inspire some of you guys out there to, uh, who are just getting started in photo or video to go and try to find some clients in real estate yourself if that's what you're looking to do. There's a ton of work out there, there's a lot of different things you can do, but if you're just trying to get the ball rolling, get started, get some clients, get used to working with clients, get used to being a professional in photo or video, then real estate is definitely a good industry to get started in.